Hello, this is a Wellmar A4 upright piano, 110 centimeters tall and um, made in 1982. Now we happen to have exactly the same model of Wellmar come in at the same time and I've already made a video of this but I did call this an, a, a Model 41 which was an error because it's 110 centimeters tall and A4 just like the other one. So this one that we're trying to assess for see if any extra work needs doing on it and we can see the right hand pedal is quite a lot brighter than the left hand pedal um, and that's obviously because it's been played um, and never polished up off as that's not that common to find pianos that have been polished up so clearly that shows some play and the other one that's exactly as it came in so both have come in the last two weeks this one a week ago the other one uh, yesterday I think so I've made a worksheet thinking about what work might improve the piano. I've already cleaned the keys. That's something we're doing as standard with uh, hand soap and water. And here we're looking at the worksheet that I've made. It just helps to remember things and pass the information on. So it's two beats flat, four, three, eight, and needs to be raised up. So the other one was actually in concert pitch. So. Uh, this one definitely been standing around not being used for a while. I'm pretty certain about that It's good to see the book holders fitted it seems to come as standard on uh, this model because the other one has exactly the same book holders and same place and there's a nice lip here to hold the music as well There's the other piano with the book holders. This one is slightly darker, but the other one's originally lighter. I don't think it's been faded. You can always tell the original colour by looking, lifting the top lid and see if there's any difference. And on this one, perhaps there's a slight difference actually. So this one has faded slightly, but it, it's so integral in colour, this one, and uh, such, in such perfect condition. So the one we're assessing is naturally lighter um, and lifting up the top, it doesn't seem to be particularly different. Again, it has faded slightly, I think, um, Perhaps it was similar to the colour of the other one, but it's it's faded evenly. So you often find that as the lid's been kept up over the keys, there's a fade line here. If you're wondering how I knew it was an A4, there's an original sale uh, label here, Tap House. That was a shop in Oxford and A4 Mahogany. Taking a look at a touch rate, this is 54 grams. Tap finally, so it's just going, starting to go down at 54. This one's going down before, so that might be about 52. Let's see. So again, tap, tap underneath to overcome the initial inertia. You have to have the right-hand pedal down for this. But touch is so important to musicians, and if you're studying, it's really important. So we'll try and improve that. The regulation on the piano is generally very good, looking at how the dampers are coming off halfway to the string. That's just very nice, and those ones too. Let's have a look around here, see if they're the same. Uh, yeah, that's good really. If anything, well, the bass damper is better to have them slightly later because they're heavier. So they're not impeding the touch at all really. And the set off, let's see how far it gets to the string. Um, so about, well, three millimeters. That's, a, that's almost exactly right actually. We'll have a look at that, but um, pretty much as we'd have, as we'd like it to be. Let's have a look at the wear on the hammers. Now this has been slightly more used as the other one. As we mentioned, looking at the pedals, although the other ones might have had pedals cleaned, um, not a huge amount of difference. And the other one made in 1981, so it looks like it's not been used at all, really. Hardly anything, hardly anywhere on that one at all. Now, notice the damping there, for instance, is a bit, a bit sort of not quite strong as it should be. That's C, and I bent the spring on C, makes it better. And C sharp, maybe C still needs a little bit more work on it. Damping is really important, especially if you play a lot of staccato music, jazz. It's nice to have very good damping in it. And when it's not, you can hear the echo. So all those flat dampers, once they get to the wedge dampers, as is normally the case, they are better damping. So obviously the manufacturer has to decide how many wedges to put in. Um, a good manufacturer will put extra wedges in here and uh, that's very encouraging. The piano is so well made. So a bit more listen listening to the tone. Let's compare it with the other one. Back to the one we're assessing. 
I would, there's, more, there's voicing to do on this, it's out of tune, so I had to tune it first before voicing it. But really very similar standard. And the other one, 1982, it is warmer. I think it's to do with, if we tune the piano and uh, possibly work on the hammers of the other one, then I think they'll be very similar. Same number of wedge dampers in this one. And the damping is better, and the damper springs are slightly stronger. So it's related to springs mainly, I think. May try fluffing up the dampers a bit, but uh, they're not tight, the hinges aren't tight, so it's nothing to do with that. Let's just do a few more chords on the one we're assessing. Pedals lifting off slightly too far, possibly, um, though it doesn't really matter too much. You, theory you could wait, wear the springs out a bit if it lifts off too far but I think we'll probably leave that because pedals tend to um, wear and they don't lift off enough after many many years the other one's exactly right so that's an assessment of a Wellmar model A4 110 centimeters tall made in 1982 sorry 1981 um, like all well Mars, it just has a beautiful tone as you will know if you've watched other videos we're very very fond of this of well Mars generally and this is one of the best ages of them as well the 80s or 70s to 80s really now the key dip for me doesn't quite go down as far as I'd like it to I've checked other well Mars and checked nights and that's about 10 10 millimeters key dip. This is an 11 millimeter key dip measurer. Um, keyboards tend to be 11, 10 and a half at least. So I'd reset this at 10 and a half. The other one is 10 and a half, I think. So um, there's certainly no snow. And the sharps also. That gives you a little bit more aftertouch. And just because as musicians we're used to um, 10 and a half, 11 really. So that's a minor consideration, but certainly I would like that to be done. It makes it feel more positive. Slightly out of tune at the moment, and slightly flat, but generally an excellent piano. I've compared it with the other one, same model, one year difference. Um, I, there was a catalogue with that which, which, which said that, that there was a, it confused me because it said a model 41 and then I think it was Regency that was the next one. And then there was a, another model which was 107. But this is definitely 110 and Tap House had the label up here. And by the way, this um, is useful to use a lid stay if you want more volume. That's what that's for. A lot of good uprights have those on. Um, so it said it was an A4, which is something I've learned today. It's wonderful trade, the piano, is you're always learning something different. Plenty of power, just a beautiful piano to play. Um, kind of piano you want to play all day long. For uprights, obviously um, uprights are smaller than the grands, but a very good upright can be an excellent piano. Now, if you are listening to this and you'd like to buy any of our pianos and can't come into the shop for any reason, um, then we're very happy to, um, to to talk to you about the piano. If you can get in, if you can get onto a, uh, a video yourself with us, we can uh, show you different aspects of the piano direct. Or this video, uh, hopefully, is enough. If you buy a piano without seeing it. Um, which is very common these days, then uh, we can guarantee you it's an excellent instrument. We put as much work into it as to perfect it as we can. And uh, if you don't like the piano, well, obviously I'll return it or uh, you could have a different piano within a year. So we'll try and serve you in any way we can. Um, but we do choose the very best pianos we can. Knights and Wellmar Uprights is uh, our sort of main, main, up, main small uprights. And then as 
good grands as we can get really. We've got a Bersendorfer just come in, which I'm about to assess, um, and another Blutner, one of my favourite styles of Blutner grands as well, and a Blutner upright. So there's plenty of pianos coming in and out. Uh, I've got a lot of work to do to assess those. So um, thank you very much for listening. I hope that's been helpful. But please do do write if you need to. Um, you can write to info at robertspianos.com, ask us any questions and we'll try and answer them. Thank you very much.